that brings us to the question, which is like the flip side of should our chatbot have a personality? It's like sometimes people who ask that question, like stakeholders who say, yeah, why bother creating a personality? Because it's a it's like a robot, it's a computer thing, right? So can a robot actually have a personality? Well, I'm going to show you a few pictures. And then in the chat, you can tell me who it is and one or two adjectives that go with that robot. This one should be really easy, especially if you've got, if you've got Disney Plus. Yeah, R2. Yep, funny. Arturito. Is that, that's probably uh, in Spanish how it's pronounced, right? Cool. I love that. I learn every, something every day. Reliable. Yep. Dependable. Exactly. And it's, does, does R2-D2 also have like an adjective that's a bit more out there or? Yeah, because he, he's a bit, he's rusty. Yeah, but Ben, you're right. He is a bit rebellious. And especially for a little robot droid thing, he, you know, he does his own thing, right? So, so that's really, that, that really makes him identifiable in the movie. There's more, there's more uh, droids and stuff, but that, make, that really makes him stand out, right? Um, so here's one from the same franchise. And obviously, probably everyone knows who this one is. But what kind of adjectives would you ascribe to this one? Whiny, yep, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, it's a yeah. yeah. Ever seen any Star Wars? Oh God, yeah. Where to start? Well, I think the original trilogy is where you should start because the, all the other ones are like really. Everybody has an opinion on them. Um. <laughs> yep, servient. Exactly, subservient. And does can anyone ascribe a really positive, uh, positive adjective to? C-3PO. Yep, he's intellectual. He's very smart. Uh, multilingual, yep. Hey, you're, you guys are doing well. I was thinking of loyal because he, despite, he's like, he's a borderline coward and he's always whining, but he, but he basically never, never really gives up. So I think he's quite loyal. And then the final one, um, moving to another franchise, Anyone, well, it says it on his uh, body armor there. It says that he's Wally. Um, can anyone give me like some adjectives for Wally? Yep, inquisitive. He's always trundling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he makes me cry. Yeah, that's that's the thing they do. Uh, I, is it Pixar? It's a Pixar, yeah, he's Pixar. Curious, persistent. Yeah, I like it. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. So what I'm demonstrating here, even though, you know, if, if this were a scientific endeavor, one could say, okay, but these are all created characters. So it's like obvious that they have personality traits because they were created for film and, you know, TV. Um, but that's exactly kind of the point, right? They're robots. And I know they don't literally really exist, but it's really easy for us to feel the personality traits, the adjectives that, that were designed into these, right? 